show some of my Congo Zord collection. Gao Kong, Congo Zord, Gao Muscle, whatever you want to call them. At Anime Expo, I got this gray Gao Ape, which I had never seen before prior to the show. So, once again, thank you, Scott, at Robo Toy Fest. Actually, I think every time I go to Scott's booth, I find something really rare, so. Power Morphicon Robo Toy Fest, definitely worth checking out. In America, we got the Congo Zord, the Green Gorilla, the Bear Brothers, another Eagle Zord, and another Bison Zord. However, instead of giving us the same bison twice, since we got it with the Wild Force Megazord, they altered it, so this one has motorized walking action, which is kind of cool. these separately. You could just, you could get the Bear Brothers as a set, and I think individually as well. Gorilla. This was the standard Megazord for the show, both US and Japan. This is Gao Knight. He was featured in the Gao Ranger movie. The Red Gorilla was known as Gao Kong. Same mold as green, just painted red, and the head is different. Gao Knight appears to have been a Toys R Us exclusive featuring the black elephant, which is very cool. However, in the movie, they used the blue elephant, not the black. This is actually a more accurate Gao Knight. In America, one of the last Megazords released in the Wild Force line was Ultimus Megazord, which is a repaint of the motorized bison. This one is purple. It came with a red version of the gorilla, which was never featured on Wild Force, another shark, and then Soulbird. I think this was Bandai's last chance to give us the Elephant Zord. For whatever reason, they just didn't. The salt bird is cool, but I much would have rather had this beautiful shiny blue elephant. Wouldn't you guys? It's the sword and shield. I mean, this is like... He doesn't attach in the show to the arm. This is what we all wanted, right? Elephant Zord, which was really, really hard to find on eBay. This is not an official combination, but this is what I got from Scott at Robo Toy Fest. I feel like I can never have enough Wild Zords. I just, I'm really addicted to this toy line. I just kind of hoard them. I can't help it. These are two more Bear Brothers, another Eagle Zord, and a Japanese bison that has the nice chrome shiny horns. Now, somebody had told me this was the black and white edition. I can't find any white on this Megazord, so I'm going to have to disagree with that. Zord, rather. I believe he's called Gao Ape. If anybody knows for sure that that is incorrect, you can let me know. Prior to Anime Expo, I had only seen this in a toy magazine that I have, along with some other lion variants that I had never, that I still haven't seen. Here he is. Beautiful. I'm very careful to keep these separate because I don't want to mix them up. I cannot find a single difference between the red gorilla from Wild Force and Gao Kong. The American version of the gorilla left off the gold paint there. And you can also see the Japanese gorilla was a more metallic green. It was a lot shinier. As for Gao Kong, I cannot find a single difference. They're identical. Okay, this says Bandai 2001. What do you say? I bet it'll say the same thing. This one's blank. I found a difference. But now I'm confused. Did I mix them up? Wild Force was 02. This is 01. Help? Oh no. Why don't you have a date? Okay, now I honestly don't know if I switched them at some point by accident. Time Ranger is 2000. Time Force is 2001. Does anybody have Ultimus Megazord? And if you do, on this side of his chest, is it printed? saying 2001 on it. Frustrating, but I guess you can say good job Bandai America, but bad job not giving us the elephant sword. What's up with that? But at least this didn't form the arm of a Megazord like uh, in Dino Thunder. That was even worse. I should also mention that the Gower Ranger Zords and the Wild Force Zords are compatible with each other, including the motorized bison. Alright, I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Good night.